The shahafidahullah say lahum nashat. And they have a strong activity that they are doing. Now recently, barakallahu feekum, I believe it was in Gambia where they were trying to open a... It was it the case? Right? They were trying to open a TV station. A radio station? TV. TV. Well, they go to hands in hand. Uh, opening a TV station or radio station. But what is alhamdulillah min? Right? That they were not given the green light to do so. Huh? La ilaha illallah. And may Allah have mercy upon the former president with all the evil that he was accused of doing. This individual never opened it. Come sit right here. Don't let him come no more. Let him stay home. Stay home. It's better, safer for you and for me, okay? You heard me, right? You heard? Let him stay home. It's safer for you and for me. With all, alhamdulillah, things that, negative things that he, is, he was accused of. This individual never ever had the, the, the courage to openly come out and to be making these claims of wanting to have a TV station or whatnot. They were stunned, stunned. They were shunned also. They were not given no way to barakallah fikum bring about their evil. And this is why, alhamdulillah, it is, it, is, it, is a, it is good for a society to have a leader that has a strong whip. To have a strong whip. It is. To have a leader that has a strong whip. Because some jokers won't be making no noise. No, they won't be making no, no, any noise. They will know what time it is. A leader can be righteous. Alhamdulillah. If he is righteous, that doesn't necessarily mean that the whole citizens, the whole country will be righteous. But if he has a strong whip, listen, people will be righteous. Whether ala ikhtiyari him, whether by choice, or whether they fear the whip. Whether they do it out of their own ikhtiyar, or they do it knowing that man, if I don't tighten up, the man is, on, yeah, the man gonna get me. Tayyip? No, I'm not. Yes. Yeah, the man made an open statement that everybody that is on my payroll, you got you to gotta put a hijab on. Everybody that is a civil servant, I don't know what they call it. You got to, from this point on, wear the hijab. You don't think that's a good thing? At least some people, even if they be wearing the hijab, and they are doing it hatefully, but at least, at least, at least you are safeguarding the weak-hearted man from falling into something that is not praiseworthy. Right? At least you covering and hating it, you are safeguarding the, the, the weak-hearted man. Right? So it is a benefit at the end of the day. May Allah rectify his affairs for those good things that he has done. May Allah allow him to repent and to come to Salafiyya. Amin. 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 Alhamdulillah, the Salafi, the Salafi, he make dua for the ruler. And he also make dua for the people in general. 
Even if you have enmity towards them because of whatever had happened. Alhamdulillah, don't you want people to be guided? Right? The man that maybe broke your truck 10 years ago. You don't want to say, may Allah burn him in the hell fire forever. Allah. You still want Allah to guide him. Right? You still want Allah to guide him. Alhamdulillah, that you only find it, Barakallah, because this is with understanding. As Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimahullah, mentioned, that Ahlul Sunnah, A'lam nasi bil haq The people of the Sunnah, they are the most knowledgeable of the truth. Wa arham nas and they are the most gentle, the most merciful to the creation. So, Ghulam Ahmed Al Qadiyani Al Hindi from India. This, he has followers. They are very active today. But they act. How active they are, it will only end in failure. It will only end, excuse me, in failure. It will only end in failure. Because Allah Tabaraka wa Taala doesn't support batil. Allah doesn't support batil. It will only end in failure with Ayyadu Billah. Al Hasil, in conclusion, or in summary of this point. Annahu la nabiya ba'da Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That there is no prophet after the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After him. No prophet. So, whomsoever claim prophethood, he is a liar. He is a liar. كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم as the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام mentioned he said لا تقوم الساعة that the hour will not be established حتى up until يبعث الدجالون up until it will be sent great liars great liars كذابون Great liars. The jaloon meaning causing corruption on the most to the Muslims. Kazaboon, great liars wal ayyadu billah. And he say, he say, Qariban min thalathin. Close to 30 of them, meaning close to 30 people from the great liars, from liars. That will be claiming to be prophet after the messenger alayhi salatu was salam. He say, Kulluhum, all of them, Yaz'um annahu rasulullah. All of them, they falsely claim that they are the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are the prophet of Allah. They claim that they are the prophet of Allah. They all claim that they are the prophet of Allah. One of them at the time of the Prophet was known as Musaylama al kathab Musaylama al kathab Musaylama al kathab Al-Yamama. Musaylama al kathab Al-Yamama. And during his fight, when the companions, they were fighting against him, this is when Umar, brother, radiyallahu anhu wa arda istushhida. Zayd ibn al-Khattab. This is when Umar brother was killed in that fight. Radiyallahu anhu wa arda. So Musaylama was one of them. He used to claim nubuwa. He used to claim prophethood. And that's why he was given the title of what? Al-Kathab. The liar. By the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The prophet calling someone the liar. He is the prophet calling him the liar. Al Kathab. Musaylama the liar. Subhanallah al Azim. Akhi, if any of us is called a Kathab by any of us, he will not like it. And it will be seen to be what? Something? Huh? In, huh? It is very insulting. It is something that is very bad. But how about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa calling an individual al-kathab? 
Huh? It is Allahu Akbar. And some of the scholars they mention when the Prophet called him Al Kadhab, the man, even if he would have said something that were to be the truth, if people are confronted, they will see otherwise. Mathalan, if he would say, Oh, Akhi, for instance, here is a bottle of water, right? A person take it will see other than a bottle of water. So that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala exposing him and making his lies manifest. That's why alhamdulillah it is a, 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 um, it is a description that is, that, is, that is very bad for a person to be known as a liar. Just like it is a virtue, it is praiseworthy for a person to be known as someone that is truthful. And that is trustworthy. To be truthful and trustworthy. Very important, Barakallah Fikum. That all of us, Alhamdulillah, we should what? Cultivate that. But believe me, that cultivation starts when the person is young. Lying this small lies, you will have this habit of lying all the time. And guess what? If a person lie one lie, What's going to happen, Adam? They're going to continue to lie another lie to cover that lie. And lie another lie to cover that other lie that was covering the first lie. And so you will always be lying. And guess, guess what? Your scenario will never be the same. Am I the person telling the truth? Wake him up. Ten years later, he will tell you exactly what he told you. Barakallah fikum. What? Ten years ago. But a liar, give him five minutes. He will tell you ten different stories. Ten different stories. Five minutes. I went to the store. I went to the store. will change to, I meet the brother on my way to the store. That can change to, I was sitting in front of the masjid. That can change too. I was answering the phone. That can change too. I was going to the field. That can change too. I was doing this. Five minutes, the man will give you 20 different wet lies. As they say, the truth sets you free. That's how you say it? The truth sets you free. But lies, you got to keep on building lies upon lies for you to free yourself. Guess what? You are putting yourself deeper and deeper and deeper in the hole. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter how it is. Tell the truth and be set free. Don't, don't, because you're going to have, you're going to end up having two, two things. Your father or your mother or whoever it is will know that you're lying. Because you're telling him five different things. And even if they would have forgive you, they will not have that test to forgive you no more. Because you're insulting their intelligence. Allahumma ja'alna amin as-siddiqeen. May Allah make us among the truthful ones. Ameen. So the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, he said that the hour will not be established until that about 30 30 Dajjalun Kathabun, right? Great trickers, great liars will be, will be sent. And all of them, they will claim, they will falsely claim to be prophets of Allah. Al Mutanabbiuna Kathirun. Al Mutanabbiuna. Al Mutanabbiuna are those who. Claim to be prophets. The self-made prophets. Mutanabbiuna. Huh? Prophets. Those who are make, declaring themselves prophets. Mutanabbiuna. From an nubuwa. Prophets. Right? Huh? An, an yeah. The same word though. An-naba. An-naba. An-nabi.